Hello crochet lovers, welcome to another tutorial. This is Hadasha from Hadasha Crochet Craft. Today I'm going to do a demonstration on this beautiful baby blanket. I call it extended basket weave stitch. I have used Alice cotton gold. For those who have been following my channel, I mostly work with Alice, but I love it because it is kind of velvet. I'll be using size hook. This is a three millimeter size hook. You will need stitch markers, the what I use for now, and a tape measure. For my blanket, I prefer my baby blanket to measure. 36 by 36 that is a very nice square and if i want it we have to talk about the blanket you will be making multiples of nine and six grab your yarn and let us do it together we will start by creating a slip knot this is my way of creating a slip knot. Then we said we are going to work on multiples of six and nine. So where there is six, you put a stitch marker so that you will get to know exactly where to start your front and your back post. We are going to chain 6 and put stitch markers in our 6th chain, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, put a stitch marker in your 6th, so you will get to know that is the 6th chain. From there, you are going to chain 9. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Put a stitch marker. Like that. And now the next will be six, that is one, two, three, four, five, and six, the same. Put a stitch marker. And the last one we will make nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you have two pairs of six and two pairs of nine. What you're going to do, it is in your ninth chain, create two more chain and that will be counted as your first double crochet because we are going to work with the double crochet and then in your eighth make a double double crochet that is two that is three four five Six, seven. Create all double crochet all through, and I'll meet you at the end. At the end, we have the first pair is six double crochet. That is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then other pair is nine. 
6 and 9. To start our pattern now, you're going to chain 3, turn your work, you're going to work on back post double crochet. What I mean by back, I mean yarn over, insert your hook behind, these three chain we chain, it represent our first double crochet, so yarn over, go behind your double crochet, like that, yarn over, uraparu, you have three, yarn over two, and yarn over two, that is a back post double crochet, again, yarn over, go at the back, yarn over, create a double crochet, that's what we call back post double crochet. That is one, two, three, four, five, and this is our sixth double crochet. And we move our stitch marker to our sixth. So next time we will get to know where our back post ends. For the next nine, you are going to create front post, double crochet, so you are going to yarn over, insert your hook between the front side, yarn over and create a double crochet, so like that, yarn over, insert your hook in the front side, yarn over, two, yarn over and create a double crochet. That is what we call front post double crochet. So you have a total you have a total of nine you have a total of nine front post that you're going to work with and it will be visible so that you don't it's not a must you have the stitch markers now because this is your front post and this is your this is your back post and this is your front post so continue creating front post double crochet Continue until you reach the stitch marker. You can remove your stitch marker. And in total you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. In total you have 9 front posts. Now you're going to make 6 back posts. That is yarn over. Go at the back. Create a back post double crochet six of them that is two that is three that is four that is five that is five and that is six very good you can remove your stitch marker now And now, I hope our work is clear. We have six back posts, nine front posts, six back posts, and now we are going to have nine front posts. So yarn over, go back using front side, and create nine front posts. Like that. That is two. That is three. And that is four. And that is five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You can insert your hook between the 
chains here and that will give you a smooth edge there so we have six back post nine fr front post six back post and nine back front post when you turn your work we are going to chain three that is one two and three turn your work when you go to the other side where you have the front post it will appear as back post and where you have a back post it will appear to you as front post so we are going to do each stitch as presented in front of us so here the other side we were at front post but when you come behind you have now nine back post so yarn over create your nine back post as presented to you that is two that is three that is four that is five that is six that is seven that is eight and I had one here this one counted as a double crochet so in total I have one two three four five six seven eight nine a total of nine so now we have six front posts let us work together so yarn over create the six front post that is four five and six so you have three three that is six the other side it is nine double crochet which is back post so continue working like that the back Continue like that, and you have a total of nine back posts. So continue with the six front posts. And I will do two more rows of camera. And then I'll meet you and show you how to convert the two to create the extended basket weave stitch. Continue working. I'll see you soon. Using my main project, here I have a total of nine front posts. And here I have a total of six double crochet. I have worked on one, two, three, four, five, six rows. Huh? So to convert these, what I will do, I will chain three. I will chain three and turn my work. Now I'm at the back and the secret of this pattern, it is, this is all back post. I'm going to create 
six front posts from this side. So yarn over. This is the first one. So that is two, three, that is four, and that is five. And that is six. And the rest, where there is, this is six front post. If I add these three remaining from the ninth side, I will have a total of nine. So I'm going to continue by making all these back post double crochet so yarn over that is one that is two that is three that is four that is five that is Six. That is six. That is seven. That is eight. And that is nine. Very good. Now we have where there was nine back post I have put six front post and converted all other to be back post so here I am again here we are again yarn over create six front post so yarn over that is one that is two that is three that is four that is five, that is six. So three remaining, if you add three plus six, it will give you nine back post now. Yarn over, continue with the back post of the remaining three. The remaining three. And also convert the six front post to be back post. Like that. Chain three and turn your work. When you come to the other side, now your pattern starts to appear because where there was six front posts, you converted it to be a front post and extend in your ninth front post. So let us do it together. That is one. That is two. That is three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight and nine. You have a total of nine front posts, and here between you have total of six back posts where there was 
front po nine br front post so work on your back post six of them that is one that is two that is three that is four that is five and that is six and now we will work on nine front posts and this is the pattern you're going to repeat until you make either six rows or if you wish to make five rows of each block and that is all you need to know for the extended basket it is a total different way because for the normal basket weave we only exchange ex change front post to back post but we don't extend as you can see here there is extension if you have not watched my basket weave pattern go back to my my channel and watch it it is there and that is all you need to know for today and thank you so much for clicking and stopping by to my channel if you're new please support my channel by subscribing and i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye